articles, 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 articles. What do you need to do? Register your articles. What do you need to do? Register for your PLT. What do you need to do? Write your board exams and then you can become an admitted attorney and serve the world. Guys, stay tuned for more. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Yvonne Princess Shamango. If you're new here, you're welcome to like, subscribe, share, and comment. So we talk all things lifestyle, all things travel, all things employment, all things faith, hope, and everything positive you can think of. So today we're going to talk about also another concept that um, is not spoken about often, right? Uh, and this is relevant for law graduates particularly, but um, also out of interest to other people, it may be relevant as well. So firstly, uh, when you get articles, right? Hear me and hear me very well. When you get articles, ne? firstly, one thing about articles, they will teach you independence. Guys, please shy away from thinking that your principal is the one that registers your articles. Your principal doesn't do that for you. Basically, what your principal does, they signature, they confirm that you have the correct document, and that's that. But getting your articles registered, it's on you. That's the first thing you're going to learn from articles. Independence and being able to do things for yourself and on your own. So this is what happens, right? We've had a conversation about how to find articles. You've searched for articles. We've had a conversation about interviews, get an interview. And now we're having a conversation about a point where you've gotten your interview, you've excelled at your interview. Now it's your first week of articles. What do you do? What do you need? Step number one, the first thing you should always think about, actually, especially in small firms, uh, and I'm not so certain, but somebody told me that in big firms, they actually um, help them with their registration and stuff like that. It's not as complex as in small firms. So in small firms, you're going to have to do it yourself. You're going to have to do the groundwork. You're going to have to go to Pretoria to submit the documents for yourself. You're going to have to do the most, right? So this is me tipping you. You just have to be independent. As a CA, you can't afford to be a crybaby. You can't afford to be shy. You can't be laid back. You have to be able to stand for yourself. You have to be able to get things done, move your things. So fine, it's your first week of articles. Yay, congratulations, you've gotten the job, fine. Don't just relax. Get the forms for your registration of your articles because even if you've gotten a job at the particular firm that's gonna train you for the next two years, it doesn't end there. You have your article registration, you have your PLT. So I'm going to discuss mostly your article registration and your, uh, your PLT and other relevant factors that are going to come in mind, right? So now your first week is done and you are there in your first week, right? Be friendly, be kind, and ask. That's the first quality you, you can't afford not to have. Ask and ask and ask and ask until people get tired of you, you know? Don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. I remember the first chat that I had with one of my principal principals. I have a privilege of having like about three principals, but not logically, but yeah. One of uh, the principals that I work with said to me, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Explore. Say what you're trying to say, even when you draft or whatever the case may be. Make your mistakes. Don't hold back and be like, oh my God, I'm trying to be a perfectionist. No. Do what you can and let it all out and I will guide you through the process. And those were one of the best words because even when I do stuff, I'm just like, okay, this doesn't make sense. But maybe when she reads it, it's going to make sense. So I put it down. So yeah, that's that, right? And then ask, 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 be kind, be polite, be respectful, understand that you can't make it alone in this. In our profession, generally, besides being a CA, you can't make it without being umuntu abantu. You know the saying, umuntu ungu umuntu gabantu. Yes, you have to be a people's person. Uh, the thing of saying, I remember also my other principal, right, and my other law firm before I got to my first love, one said to me, um, generally she was a shy person, but when she started having to appear in court, having to do things in court, she had to let go of that shyness because sometimes you, when you go, get to court, you have to speak for yourself. You have to negotiate. You have to be able to 
like you have to be respectful talk to the people nicely ask nicely so you're gonna have to create your own relations and your own connections and when you are kind when you're polite and when you can speak for yourself usually people at court are always keen to help you out because but if I go court guys they, like they, they don't want disrespectful people you must be you must be respectful like you must be respectful because if you get there with attitude or moods they will show you flames and you know when people at, when the registrars of court clerks of the court or anyone at court doesn't have your back your whole career is in shambles a mess so step number one kind and respectful to all your court people or anyone in the profession your 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 advocates that you brief for certain matters everyone just be respectful to people and being respectful i'm not saying you should be a yes girl or whatever the case may be. like there's a difference draw the line between respect and standing your ground then you're gonna make it good in this profession right so fine and then you're gonna have to get your articles registered so before we even talk about plt you have to get your articles registered so when you get your articles registered you fill certain documents you fill certain forms and attach certain documents and then you submit the app okay obviously your principal needs to sign right and then you submit the application at the LPC then the LPC will vet the document and stuff like that and then when they're happy with the document then they're gonna tell you that they're gonna register your articles after such a time or, or okay actually your articles get registered once they've perused the document so you guys know what COVID has done before apparently people could go to LPC submit the article registration forms voila they are registered same day some two days some one week some two weeks but with me and with most of us right now it took about six weeks seven weeks five weeks and all of that so it's 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 really important that your first week while you're getting used to the area push your article registration it's not your principal's responsibility to do that his responsibility is to supervise you in your career along the way but starting point independence that's the day you understand that Registration of articles are pioneered by you as a CA. So you get your documents together. Actually, the first day you get a job, go to the website. The forms are there. They're going to give you a checklist of documents. Compile the documents. So the best thing would be after you think during that first week, you should have compiled all your documents. If possible, that first week, you should go take your documents to the LPC, right? So... If you can't do it within the first week, first week use it to compile all documents and then you get it signed by your principal. And then if your law firm has a messenger, ask the messenger to take the documents to Pretoria for you. If you don't, you know what to do. Get a taxi and go to Pretoria. I send a mohaw train and go to Pretoria. Drop off your documents and also ensure that when you leave your documents, whoever you're leaving your documents with has checked them and is satisfied that all the documents are in order. Because sometimes when your documents are not in order, they think they turn you back then they tell you that this is missing so if you just leave your documents there in a box unattended to you may find that you're seated wherever you are thinking oh my god i'm waiting for article registration only to find out that they are there saying these documents are incomplete so ensure before you leave that the documents are complete and they are proper and the form that you use is actually the right form because there's an old version and there's a new version so if you use an old version they might just turn you back to fix it to an uh, what you call if you use the old version they might turn you back to fix it to a new version so you ensure that your documents are compiled right and then approximately they tell you that you're going to have to wait for four weeks but i'll tell you something approximately you might have to wait for about seven weeks i started work in april my articles got registered for june mid-june and i submitted them like i think end of april so you're gonna have to do it as fast as possible so that what you are just waiting you are not wasting time you are waiting on their response because now with covid there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of things have changed in how things are done so now it takes long it doesn't take you two weeks or three days it takes like your full a full month or more so you're gonna have to wait and also another thing with um your registration be active guys be proactive about these things don't think your principal is gonna call for you and you're like oh no uh what you call my principal hasn't called for me what, what follow up follow up if it means so you give them the four weeks that they tell you that you're gonna be registered in four weeks you let it go give them that month and then after there you start calling hey what's happening are my articles registered and the other thing is once your articles are registered they'll send you an email 
uh, as well as your principal and email to say your articles are registered from such a day because also your articles start running the day they are registered. They don't start running the day you get employed. So it becomes tricky. That's why it's important that you push because the next thing you, you, you have a two year contract, right? You started work in February. When you are relaxed, you're not following up and stuff like that. And then um, June comes. It's only now that you find out that you're missing a document. Then your articles are registered for August. Is your company going to employ you for that four months in between? We don't know. So don't put yourself in a position whereby it's tricky for you. You don't know what's what. You don't know where to go and stuff like that, right? And follow up, follow up, follow up. It's your responsibility. That's the first lesson you're going to learn about articles. You need to be independent. You need to be able to think on your feet. I get it, guys. I get it. And then we're going to come to PLT. So PLT, there's two types of PLT. You can do full-time PLT, which is six months, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not so familiar with that one, but you can do full-time or you can do part-time. Full-time, you which with full-time PLT, you can actually do one year of articles. So you do one year of articles and then you full-time PLT and then you get admission. You don't have to do two year articles, right? That's the advantage. But also another disadvantage with that for me personally, right? If you're gonna do one year articles and do full time PLT is that, um, so this is what's gonna happen, right? I'm sure, okay, layman people, let me just give you context, right? So basically we don't control what happens in court. You could be running with a meta, the court takes four months to give you a date, right? So we don't control that so and also in terms of the law we use procedure you know court procedures and stuff like that so some things like you know maybe a divorce would take around about some divorces take 10 years some take five years some take three years and stuff like that so for me i'd say instead of opting to do one year of articles do your two years because one year you might not get the experience that you need chances are you might find yourself having it done one meta and drafted a couple of things and printed quite a lot of pages which is not might be useful for admin skills but not as useful for your whole career so two years at least you know you can complete a case in two years you can some divorces that are not as complex you can do it in eight months done voila you know so the longer i feel like the longer your articles are like your two years i know these people that done articles for five years i think that's within in terms of the old act or something like that but i feel like the longer your articles are the better the experience you get as opposed to one year because also with plt it's not like yes you learn what you have to you learn things that are going to prepare you for your board exams and stuff like that but it's really important that you understand that pra practicality will always like it, it will always be necessary and in terms of the law things seem easy when we just draft them when you when you just but when you draft them like when you're answering someone answering an exam question but when it comes to doing it's a lot different because you're dealing with a case by case basis you're dealing with different people and stuff like that you know so i think it's really important that you get as much experience as you can which is i think it's even advisable from your first year second year that you do your back work because also you get the idea of how practice looks like right and then so we have your part so we have your full-time plt that allows you to do one year of articles only you get a uh, condonation or something like that but yeah you can apply and then you get admitted after which is after your four board exams but there is part-time right part-time you do i think if i'm not mistaken over three months or four or two you do that and then your part-time you attend every evening after work like around 6 p.m after work and then um also with those there's different sections so there's like three sections a year no no two sections a year right so you would need to register as soon as possible because sports do get full so you need to register as soon as possible like i for instance i haven't done plt so i'm gonna do plt the beginning of next year so towards the end of the year i need to ensure that i'm registered for plt and I need to ensure that um, my PLT is paid for and stuff like that and everything is okay, right? And then also, guys, I'm fortunate my firm pays for my PLT, but there's small firms that cannot afford to pay for your PLT. So you might have to see yourself through. So it will be important for you that, like, now if you're in my position that you're waiting for PLT registrations that are going to happen towards the end of the day for January, then it will be important for you to actually safe you know the club the part-time one it's not as expensive because i know full-time is fifteen thousand rand if i'm not mistaken i stand to be corrected and then part-time is four thousand 
plus minus 4,600, 4,500, which is not so bad. And now while you wait to register, you can save 500 rand for people that don't get paid as much or have more obligations to, to, to use their money for. And then, or you can save a thousand, a thousand. By the time it starts the end of the year, you have your 4.6 Aushupi Mundu. You register your PLT, you attend your classes, and then voila, you prep for your board exams. Board exams, but they humble you. But board exams are the humble, like, I don't even know how to put this, but apparently board exams will humble you. So yeah, registration articles ensure that that's pushed. You Like you do these things, this is one thing you're gonna do for yourself and also it's gonna determine how serious you take yourself. Registration of your articles, registration for PLT, attending those classes is gonna be your responsibility and writing the four board exams it's going to be your responsibility and also with board exams you'd need to register and pay a certain fee so in law there is so much procedure you don't just sit and be like oh yeah i've gotten my articles like we're just moving to as no everything has procedure so it's important that google is your friend you google if google's not working for you you ask your colleagues you ask people that have worked walked the journey before you right guys i get it guys and yeah also um yeah that's just about it so register your articles guys and push follow up it's really important that you follow up and it's important that the two years that you have for your articles you use it as much as possible because two years really is a short time guys like i can't believe it's half the like it's july now and we're in june but like it's, it's literally july in a couple of days and um okay by the time you receive this video it'll be july so it's july now and time is gone like we're in the half year and time is gone so you're gonna have to understand that two years is really little time and two years will form your foundation of your career these two years will help you decide where you see yourself in the next couple of years they'll help you decide which department of law you want to expertise in they'll help you decide whether you want to stay in the company that you work for whether you want to try new endeavors so those two years you will need to make them count the most and no one can do it for you only you can make them count i get it guys i get it. So those two years are really important. You're going to have to focus. You're going to have to put in the energy. You're going to have to be as present as possible because literally the only time you have is now, right? So I've shared my part in terms of article registration, PLT, board exams. And somebody asked me if why I haven't shared about my experience as a CA, guys. I've only been a CA for a couple of months, man. And I don't think I stand ground to talk about how it's been because honestly i'm still like i'm still trying to find my fit in everything and i think really uh being a ca is an evolving journey so it's not going to be the same but all i can say is i've been enjoying the experience i've been enjoying the experience and um i've learned quite a lot from my principals from my colleagues and I i'm happy generally as a person i'm happy and um you'll see i think a video before this when i did post that i'm happy where i'm at such a beautiful work environment and yeah it does get lead because days are not the same you know and one thing about me i hate being confused i hate the state of not knowing as much as i love learning but really i don't like a stage where i don't understand stuff or where i'm struggling but also being a ca has taught me that it's okay to fumble it's okay it's okay not to know it's okay to make mistakes and stuff like that but it's not okay to stay not knowing it's not okay when you don't know go and ask go and research and you shall know so that question is answered my experience as a ca so far great it's a learning curve and it's hectic you guys it's hectic and one thing about being a ca you're gonna have to also learn that some things are not personal it's not a you thing it's not Jorge, hey, me, I'm Yvonne, and no, like it's it's strictly business and it's strictly you building your career and producing the work you're supposed to produce. Some things are not personal. So as a CA, sometimes you're going to have to have a heart. And by me saying you're going to have to have a big heart and you're going to have to overlook some things, I'm not saying stand to abuse because I know some people will say, no, I get abused. Draw the line. You know the boundaries. Some things really are things that when you think of you just like nah there's no need for me to question this or battle about this because at the end of the day i'm benefiting more and as much as they're benefiting and stuff but i'm benefiting more because i'm still a baby in this thing imagine trying to argue and i know this may come off as some type of way but imagine trying to 
argue or trying to be funny with a person that has 15 years experience that person can quit right now and live their best life now nah, how, how many years experience do i have Two months of the law profession so really it's important that you are humble it's important that it's not every battle pastor mike todd says this it's not every battle that you need to fight it's not every battle some things you, you you take your L and you move or you take it as it is and you move and also guys it's not everything that you need to address it's not everything pick your battles and pick them wisely in this profession or in that season as a ca because you want to learn as much as you can you don't want to piss people off you don't want to be rude to people you don't want you know what you just want to get as much as you can and be aware and all that being said stand up for yourself stand your ground and don't let arrogancy push you or let your ego lead you but be led by humbleness be led by wanting to learn you know so yeah that's what's up and yeah that's it from me to you right and then i just have one last hack or tip that i got from one of my friends who is doing um who's preparing to do board exams so this is for the people that are doing plt Jan, yeah, Jan, the first PLT class that's happening in Jan or December Jan lab. Here's the thing. So a friend of mine advised me that apparently our bookkeeping and estates are insane, you know. Okay, not insane, but people always fail them. So he gave me a hack. I'm giving this hack to you. It's a gift to you. So he says we should ensure that um, when, we, during that season when we're attending PLT, we register to write bookkeeping because during that time, a PLT would have just learned about bookkeeping. So your memory is fresh. So, and also the other thing, the last class of PLT um, during that time, right? Uh, so the exam, yes, the exam is, like, the, the exam, I think, yeah, bookkeeping or estates is, uh, and estates is uh, two or three days after the last class during that time. So when your mind is still fresh, when you still know what you learned, it's easier for you to go write the exam and pass. So even when you do your revision, your past papers, it's so much easier as opposed to you doing your PLT and then you're like, I know I'll register uh, estates and bookkeeping. I don't know if I'm saying these things properly, guys, don't eat me alive. But yeah, you register for that uh, and only in August. And when you've learned and you've already learned about it uh, in Jan, it's, it's a bit tricky because now in August, you're gonna have to remind yourself. But when it's still fresh from the lecturers, the PLT, and it's still fresh from your revision and stuff like that, you'll be able to just do it and get it out of the way. And from me to you, it's love, it's kindness, it's light. Don't forget to be all of that and more. So you're welcome to leave your comments. You're welcome to leave your wisdom, your knowledge. Here we are eaters of wisdom. Here we don't criticize. If you think I left something out or I didn't say anything properly, you don't have a right to criticize me. All you have to do is actually, in terms of what, what, this is how things are done. Then we learn from you, then we move. I get it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me go work. <laughs>